I'm in a chopper headed to your position. Attack the other team to gain points. If you get hit by other players, you will lose points. Okay, we are playing Resident Evil 5 Team Slayers. And I am playing as the lovely Jill Valentine in the battle suit. Yeah, I'm basically, this is the problem that I have recording games in 60 hertz. As you can see, damn you, get away from me. As you can see, it's in black and white. So, yeah, I've tried everything I can to get this to work. This is the best I can get it to work. Um, I will link in the description what the problem is, just in case you're curious, you want to find out. Um, so yeah, but the only thing I can figure out is I'm going to need to purchase a HD PVR before I can actually record these in colour. Which I can't really afford right now and I doubt I'll be able to afford anytime soon. But that's not necessarily going to stop me LPing games that are in 60Hz. Um, so yeah, that's not the reason I'm making this video. The reason I'm making this video, I've got two of them ganging up on me here, is um, I wanted to discuss two projects with you. Two projects that would be 60Hz. And this is unfair fighting, guys. It's two against one. Yeah. Right, the first project I'm not too concerned about. Uh, both projects are in 60 hertz, so they will be black and white. The first project I'm not too concerned about. It's the second project I really want some opinions on. I'm not sure whether or not I want to do the second project. But anyway, um, I'll tell you what what the two projects are. First project is basically a co-op version co-op LP of Resident Evil 5 and uh, yeah I'm not too concerned about the black might for that game because the black might actually kind of works for Resident Evil 5 I am um, I played this back in the test recording and you know I think it's if I think it's gonna work for any game that's kind of horror based has any kind of horror elements to it but yeah, I'm basically thinking about doing a co-op LP of this. I don't really want to play it single player because it's just way more fun to play this uh, two player cooperatively. Um, I did ask a few people um, who I thought may be interested in this project. But I haven't found someone to actually co-op this with me just yet. So, yeah. Um... If you want to suggest an LP that you think may be interested in this, then let me know. I'll check out the channel and I'll check out the videos and I'll see if they're interested. Alright, so that's the first project. Um, let me know if you guys are going to be okay with the black and white. But like I said, it, it pretty much works for this game. It even comes with like this game comes with a bonus unlockable feature after you finish it that allows you to play the game in black and white without having to have technical difficulties so yeah that's what I'm saying it, it does kind of work for this game so I'm not too worried about it my second project that's the one I want opinions on uh, the second project uh, the second project I'm thinking of doing a like redoing my first let's play of Perfect Dark but using the Xbox Live Arcade version which for that game the black and white doesn't really work so well for it because it's not horror themed um, so I don't know whether or not I do wanna redo that let's play um, some things you ought to know if I do redo the last play. Although it will be black and white, it will be better visually because the Xbox Live Arcade version has better graphics than the original Nintendo 64 version. So it will be better visually in that sense. Also, when I was recording, 
Uh, the emulator. I think I'm completely out of ammo here. When I was recording with the emulator, I had to use screen capturing software, which has frame rate issues. Those frame rate issues uh, won't be there for uh, the redo version of Perfect Dark. So it's going to be a lot smoother. The audio is going to be better. Um, the microphone audio is also going to be better because I spent some time messing around with that during the original Let's Play. Um, yeah, I think that's it for positive reasons to do it. Negative reasons to do it, like I said, it's going to be in black and white if I choose to do that. Um, also, it's my first Let's Play. I'm not sure whether or not I want to delete the videos. But if you guys think it's a good idea, then I'll redo it. If you don't think it's a good idea, then I won't. That is basically why I'm making this video, because I really want to know what you guys think. Should I redo Perfect Dark? Should I not redo Perfect Dark? But yeah, if I do, it's going to be in black and white. There's nothing I can do about that. Also, um, if I do uh, redo it, I'm probably going to do it on the next difficulty app. Which would mean that there would be more missions. Uh, since Perfect Dark was my first Let's Play, I did it on the easy difficulty. Because I didn't want to challenge myself too much. But... If I redo it, I'm probably going to do it on the special agent difficulty. And... That will give it more missions. So yeah, I really want to know what you guys um, think about the perfect dark thing. Um, whether or not the black and white is going to... Um, effect that let's play for you guys um, I want to know how you feel about Resident Evil 5 co-op whether you'd be okay seeing a single player Resident Evil 5 if I could cannot find a co-op partner to do this with and yeah that's basically it I think that's everything covered and yeah also um if you think you know how to fix the black and white, all I do ask is that you do follow the link in the description before you do before you comment to know exactly what the problem is. Because I believe it's um a region code problem, the NSTC and the PAL uh, screen format. Thingy. I don't know, if you uh, check the link in the description, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that. The reason why this is in black and white. Alright, um, so yeah, those are the things I want to know you guys' opinions on. Um, if not too many people comment on this, if you don't really care, then I'll kind of make the decision on my own but I would really like to hear your opinions on this cuz you know you're the ones watching I'm just making these videos so it's gonna be whatever works for you guys like I said I'm pretty confident I want to do the co-op uh, Resident Evil 5 though so and the black and white kind of works for horror based games I pr it probably doesn't work quite so well in Slayers here cuz of the upbeat dance music that's playing but it works really well for single player so I'm not concerned about that but yeah let me know if let me know about the perfect dark thing let me know about the Resident Evil 5 thing and just comment on whatever the hell you want to comment about basically Thoughts and opinions. I'm looking for thoughts and opinions here. So, yeah, and all that stuff is really important to me. Okay, we're down to our last 30 seconds now, and as I predicted, I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize my co op partner was dying. 
yeah, it's a lot uh, more difficult to do this whilst commentating multiplayer games, <laughs> but whatever. I kind of wanted to update this way, and so I could show you the uh, 60 hertz problem that I'm having. Okay, that's uh, the end of the match, and that's basically everything I have to say. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you for more Wind Waker parts. So, see you soon, guys.